So friends, till now we have seen the major changes in major system. Cardiac system, we have seen that the heart has more work to do, the heart rate has increased, cardiac output has increased. In renal, we have seen the blood flow increases, there is sodium retention, that's why there is more water retention. Then other system we have seen is vasculature, there is peripheral resistance decreases, thus blood pressure decreases. Hematological changes that there is increased in blood volume, but the volume of plasma increases more in comparison with RBCs. Thus, there is hemodilution. Clotting factors they increase that makes a pregnancy that is hypercoagulable state. Now, what remains are respiratory adaptations in which there is no change actually in the respiratory system. The respiratory rate is system, uh, same. Uh, inspiratory reserve volume is same, vital capacity, there is no change. There is little change in the transverse diameter which increases by 2 cm. The circumference also increases by 5 to 7 cm. What is more important is there is increased tidal volume. Again this has come as an MCQ that in the respiratory system the changes is increased tidal volume. How they ask question on this topic is they will say following are the changes taking place in pregnancy except and they might give one change from cardiovascular one change from respiratory system one change from endocrine so you have to understand which system has more significant changes and we, which you have to remember from mcq point of view gastrointestinal the motility decreases so usually these patients they complain constipation there is relaxation of the lower esophageal sphincter so GERD is common nausea vomiting often related with the HCG levels. Nausea is very common for first three months and sometimes patient has vomitings. In hyperemesis condition, the vomitings are much more, which needs admission and treatment. Liver and gallbladder, there is biliary stasis, cholesterol saturation. So most of the time, these patients have gallstone formation. Pregnancy and gallstone formation, very common relation. Coagulation factors, there is increased binding globulin. Nervous system, Functional changes are seen especially in neurotic women. There are hormonal changes, so there are mood variations. But if the female is neurotic, so changes are more commonly seen. Uh, females, they usually feel very sleepy and depressed during pregnancy because she has to also cope up with whatever changes her body is going to go through. While others, some, some females, they become very irritable, excited and some are from insomnia. Nausea vomiting also has some neurotic element. Uh, it is most commonly seen that a patient with hyperemesis gravidarum, we just advise them admission. Means we just want her to shift from her routine environment to a different environment. So she comes to the hospital and that change also makes the nausea and vomiting decrease. So it surely has some neurotic element. Change of appetite. Certain type of foods she just can't tolerate during pregnancy. There is aversion to certain types of food that is also related with nervous system and some neuralgias are also seen. Now coming to the most important part that is endocrine changes. Thyroid function, there is hyperplasia of thyroid and parathyroid both glands. But remember patient remains euthyroid. There is no change in T3, T4 or TSH levels. They remain euthyroid means there is no symptom actually. I am coming to the values but patient remains euthyroid. There is increased TIBG via liver, increased total T4 and T3, but free levels are unchanged. I repeat myself, there is increased TIBG, there is increased total T3 and T4, hyperplasia of glands, but free levels of these hormones, they remain unchanged. So patient doesn't land up in symptoms of hypo or hyperthyroidism. HCG suppresses TSH, BMR increases. Patient's BMR increases during pregnancy. Again, a very important MCQ. Adrenal function, free plasma cortisol level is elevated and CRH from placenta stimulates adrenocorticotropic hormone secretion. The other important endocrine glands are pancreas. You have to understand this from diabetes point of view. Carbohydrate metabolism, there is insulin resistance in pregnancy. 
so lot of insulin is secreted secreted there is hyperinsulinemia pregnancy is a condition where insulin resistance increases and lots of insulin is there in the body again the other cause is there are contra insulin factors getting secreted from different glands in the body and these contra insulin factors are the most important human placental lactogen cortisol estrogen progesterone and prolactin and because of increased insulin resistance and contra insulin factors it is a diabetogenic condition means a woman who doesn't have diabetes but still the body has diabetogenic condition during pregnancy lot of insulin insulin level increase because of presence of these hormones in pituitary what happens in pituitary there is increase in growth hormone there is increase in acth and even prolactin increases you can remember this as gap so all these three hormones they increase in pregnancy tsh levels remain same fsh and lh they decrease so let's repeat this slide again the first one that thyroid function patient remains u thyroid even though there is hyperplasia of thyroid gland there is increased t3 t4 level but free hormone level in blood remains normal so patient doesn't have symptoms she is u thyroid but bmr increases and in next slide things to be remember there is increased insulin levels hyperinsulinemia because of increased insulin resistance and other the factors which are contra insulin means they against insulin they act like human placental lactogen cortisol estrogen progesterone and prolactin they all have increased that's why there is increased insulin levels hyperinsulinemia and pituitary three hormones they increase that is growth hormone acth and prl and tsh remains same lh fsh they decrease because of presence of pregnancy so these are the physiological changes we have to give iron supplements because physiological anemia is common in pregnancy we have to take care of patient if she has a cardiac disease because cardiac load is going to increase in pregnancy we have to have control over diabetes because pregnancy itself is a diabetogenic condition which we have to consider if patient has diabetes she is going to lose control on her diabetes in pregnancy because of all these factors so these physiological changes they make us aware that what extra caution we have to take in pregnancy if it is associated with some other organic diseases or metabolic disorders so i hope this lecture would help you in understanding and also answering the mcqs thank you